in certain situations you might find that the operator of the maestro can't see the casualty or the load that is being lowered or raised and this can add complications in managing where that load is. It could be that it's descending quicker than you think or more slowly. A very classic solution to that is to post a relay, perhaps somebody at the edge who can see both the operators at the rescue side and also the casualty or the load to relay information in both directions. With the Maestro there's another option though in order to move the operator of the Maestro closer to the edge and therefore be able to see the casualty uh, or the stretch of the package and be able to react more quickly without that third relay person and that's by adding a thin cordelette to the handle of the Maestro and controlling that from a distance. By adding the thin cordelette then it means that I can take control of both the brake inside of the rope and the handle which enables me to be in a much better position so I can see the casualty and the load and I can also control the descending device. So in order to keep proper control of the load and your casualty it's really important that we have both the cordelette and the brake inside of the rope in the same hand. Then you've got three options. Firstly, you could make two or three turns around your hand with the cordelette. Secondly, tie a simple overhand knot and put your hand into that loop of the cordelette. Or thirdly, why not attach a, a connector into that loop to make it more comfortable for longer lowers. If I don't have uh, the controlling rope and the cordelette in the same hand and I control like I'm doing right now, we have a very significant risk that my, the movements and lowering will be imprecise and it could go so far as to lose control of that descent by having them separated. In any case, the choice of those options is up to you, whether you move the operator closer to the edge or not. And finally, make sure there's nothing else in your system which could catch on that cordelette and inadvertently operate the handle. So as is the case with any of these techniques, make sure that you've practiced them, that you're confident with them, and you're aware of the hazards surrounding any of these techniques before going out and using them in real situations.